Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing some DIY lemon decor. I'm going to revamp a couple items that I already have and I'm going to be using some scrap wood to make some new pieces for my tiered tray. Here is my first project. Now this is something that I got from Walmart a few years back and no it didn't really look like this inside. I It was glued in when I got it off it ripped. <laughs> but I'm going to be covering this anyway so that's no big deal. First thing I want to do is paint this frame. The inside is going to be black and the outside is going to be crocus yellow. So let's go ahead and get this black on in here. I think the black will look better on the inside instead of having it all yellow. So I'm just going to go along in here and get all of this done and once it is dry I will be using the yellow to paint the outside of the frame here. All right, so that's all dry now. And let's go ahead and get this yellow done. And then we'll be ready to put some scrapbooking paper over the old lemon picture. Okay, let me get this finished up. All right, so now I pulled the rest of it off and I'm just going to Mod Podge on this white with yellow polka dots on, which I think will look pretty. So you can get this Mod Podge on the cardboard here, or whatever material this is. And then I'm going to be putting the paper on here. And this is just something I printed off from that Creative Fabrica, so it's on copy paper, it's real thin paper. Okay. Get it smoothed out just a little bit more. And while this is drying, I'm going to be working on what I'm going to put on the inside. So I have just one of these foam lemons. I'm going to use my X-Acto knife here, and do be careful with your X-Acto knives because they are very sharp. <laughs> I have to be very careful with this. I'm just going to go around the lemon here. I'll probably have to do it a little, a few times here. Yeah, it's not, not cut all the way through. Let me kind of put it in a little deeper here. Oops, almost cut myself there. I gotta be very careful with sharp things. All right, let's clean this up a little bit. And I think this will be the perfect depth in here. Yes, it fits perfectly. All right. So now I wanna get some leaves here and I've attached them to the half of the lemon. And I'm just gonna figure out where I want to put this exactly. And I'll be hot gluing it on. I want to make sure I put a lot of hot glue on here. Okay. That'll probably be a good spot right there. All right. And it looks cute just this way, but I want to add this little flower and a little piece of pit berries. But we glue that right there. Okay. And how about we tuck that in yeah, about right there. Just put a little bit of hot glue on there and tuck it back behind the lemon. Okay. And you know, you could glue, I could glue this back on, but I realized it just pops right back in and stays. So I think this looks a lot better than it did. And it's a great way to revamp what you've already have. Now my next project here is another item that I got from Walmart many years ago. And I did paint it yellow a few years back because it was just the raw wood, which I didn't like. But now I want to add a lemon and a couple of these flowers here and some pit berries. And I'll probably need a leaf or two. And I believe I got these uh, picks from Michaels. I've had them for, I don't know, three or four years. Something like that. I'm just going to figure out where I want to glue this. About right there. Now this is the most simplest way to revamp your existing decor, is just adding a few extra details to it. 
and of course painting. Like I said, by me painting this yellow, it changed the look of it. It was more the raw wood look to it, just like the, the other sign was. And I just didn't think it looked right. All right, so we're gonna place the lemon in here. About right there, okay. And you could just leave it as that. It looks cute with just the lemon, but I wanna add a couple flowers. Okay, let's glue the other one on. All right, and we're gonna do a little bit of pit berries. First thing I'm doing is just twisting them around my finger here. And I think it's a little bit too much, so we're gonna cut it in half. Or maybe just a little bit off this end. There we go. And I'm gonna turn it around here so I can figure out exactly where I wanna put them. Try not to cover up the word day. Thinking about there. And then let's see, how about we uh, put that one right there. All right, so that is all I'm gonna do to this one and it changed the look of it. Now I'm gonna be using some scrap pieces of two by four here. And the easiest thing to do is paint them, which I'm gonna paint them yellow because we're doing lemons. And of course, putting scrapbook paper on them because you could, and fabric, you could put fabric on them, whatever you wanna do. But I'm gonna be using this crocus yellow and I'm just gonna be doing the outer edges of it. But you know what, I changed my mind. I decided to do black. So I have this all painted here with black except for the back because I decided to make this look a little French country with the lemons. And I found this cute little French script here on that Creative Fabrica. And I printed it out and cut it out and it really kind of looks just like this, how it is. Okay. So now I'm gonna do the lemon again and I'm gonna cut this one in half because I want two lemons on here. And I have a little bit of greenery here. So I have to be very careful with this one because it is so much smaller than the other one. So I wanna go really slow with this one. I'm just gonna kinda poke it in, go down a little bit, pull it out. Since this one is smaller, I only have to do it once around. Okay, so now I have two halves here. I'm just gonna kinda figure out where I wanna place the lemons and some of this greenery. Let me get my glue gun turned on here. There it is. I gotta wait for it to turn green. So I'm gonna sit here and play with this for a little bit. All right, so I've decided to put these leaves here. And, oops, get back on there. And so, they're just not sticking for me. <laughs> Got some little white flowers I might put on here too. All right, let's go ahead and get the leaves on first. Just gonna glue them down. And put lots of glue on it. And this one's gonna go here. And yeah, I'm thinking, still trying to figure out how to place that lemon. I think I'm gonna do it this way. Okay, let's glue this one down. Oops. And kind of want to make them uneven. Don't want them. Maybe something like that. All right, let's get lots of hot glue on this lemon half. All right. And the other one will go there. And I have these little white flowers. They're just little plastic ones. Get the little spider webs off here. How about this little piece right here. I'm going to cut the little bit off and we'll glue it right there. And maybe one more. Okay. Oops, got to get that in there. Get in there. <laughs> All right, so that is what I'm doing on this side. The other side, I'm just going to put some scrapbooking paper on and you know what? I should have done it first before I did the lemons, so... Yeah, we'll still do it. I printed off this again from that Creative Fabrica and cut it to fit. 
I'm doing these scrap pieces of wood that I have. I'm going to do both sides because when you put them on a tear tray, you know, most of the time you have to cover everything up with some greenery or something else, which I probably should have painted the backs of the other two, but maybe down the road I'll do that. <laughs> Just so your backside looks pretty. Plus you could turn it around any way you want to when you have double-sided decor. All right, let's just get this placed on here. I guess that's a little difficult with the lemons on the other side, but that's okay. Press this down. All right, now this really looks cute just the way it is like this. You could even do this on both sides, just put some scrapbooking paper but I do like how it is double-sided. Now here is the other scrap piece of wood that I'm doing, and I printed these off, again, from the Creative Fabrica. This first one I'm doing, I had actually printed off the pattern on the back, and then I put the paper back in the copier, or the, you know, my printer, and printed the wording on there. I'm just gonna measure this here to see where I need to cut this. Get all the sides cut here real quick. Now I'm not going to do anything dimensional with um, this one. It's just going to have one on each side. Just going to kind of line it up here, make a little mark. And again, I'm going to cut it. So this is really simple to do. Let's just get scrap pieces of wood and uh, Mod Podge some scrapbooking paper on. Like I said, you could also do fabric. You can do all kinds of things. You can make things dimensional like I did. Looks like I need to trim this just a little bit more. And a little bit more on this side. All right, so now I'm gonna be Mod Podging this on. And I'm also going to put some on the wood. And this is just regular copy paper that I'm using. I'm just going to line it up and press it down. Okay. Make sure it's smooth. All right, that looks so cute. Now, gotta do the other side. And here is the one that I printed out. It was just like this. I'm just gonna kind of line it up here. I think it's gonna work with the lines right here kind of perfectly for me to cut it. Just double checking before I do it. Okay, whoops, let's go this way first. Just kind of get some of this excess off. Okay. Mm, this we cut right here. There we go. Let me just kind of figure out where I want to place this. And I'm just going to fold it over and rub and just kind of get this indented in a little bit so I can kind of see where I need to cut it. Okay. Let me do this side one more time just to make sure I have it. I can see it. Where the fold is. All right, let's go ahead and get this. Okay, put that aside and just going to be mod podging this on. Just gonna put some Mod Podge here on the wood. Okay, get a lot on there. And I'm also gonna put some on the paper again. Okay. Get it. Put that 
right there and press down firmly. I know I see a lot of uh, little things like this in the stores and this is really cheap and easy to do yourself. I love how this looks. I love it being two-sided. Great for a tiered tray. Now, my next project here, I'm actually going to do two of these. I got these canvases from the Dollar Tree and they're 8 by 10 which is perfect what I want to do. I was trying to find some frames at the thrift stores. I couldn't find anything that match because I'm making two of these that will coordinate here. Now these are not going to be for a tiered tray. This is just some lemon decor and I'm doing it more of a French country style here. So I printed off this piece here and I did it on a little bit heavier stock and uh, I am going to be putting this on here but first I wanted to paint this and I couldn't believe I had this colored mustard. I mean this coordinates so well with this paper I couldn't believe I already had this. So I did paint both of my canvases and I'm going to rip this. I thought about just cutting it and having a little bit of the color showing but I think this will look really cool just tearing the sides having this look a little more rustic looking on here. So I'm just going to go through and tear these here. And I have to kind of keep looking at it to make sure that I'm not tearing too much or if I need to tear a lot more off. Yeah, kind of like that. All right, so I'm going to continue getting this to the size it needs to be, and then I'll be Mod Podging it on. Now, I'm going to get the Mod Podge on here. I'm going to put lots on here. This is a little bit thicker paper. Lots and lots of Mod Podge on the back here. All right, got a little bit of section left here. Okay. Get that out of the way. Make this sure this is the right side. I want to do it. Okay. Let's kind of line it up and press down. And I need a little bit more here. Looks like some of the edges didn't get enough on there. Okay. All right, so now that this is dry, I am going to take this lemon design that I printed off of that Creative Fabrica, and it's just on regular copy paper. And so I am just going to be tearing it just like I did the other paper. And I want to be a little more careful with this one because since it's copy paper, it's a lot thinner paper and I don't want to get into my design here too much. Go really carefully around the edges here. Okay. Let's continue over here. And let's get the rest of this done. Alright, so I'm going to be Mod Podging this on here in the center. Just, just make sure I get a lot of Mod Podge on here. Make sure I get some, a lot on those edges. And I'm going to place it in the center here, like so. Press down, make sure it's going to stick. Okay. Now I also did another one. This is my one to kind of match a little bit, coordinate with it. It's got a different pattern and I did use a different lemon pattern too. But they do coordinate, so. And I'd already done that part, and I just thought we'd get these two going at the same time. 
didn't get that rubbed on. Now I could leave these just the way they are because I do think they're pretty, but I want to add a little bit more detail. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm taking some black paint here and it's a little watered down and I'm just taking a really thin brush and running it alongside of the teared edge here. And then I'm also taking a little piece of a uh, wet paper towel and kind of rubbing it in. I'm also going to put a little bit on the canvas area here. Okay. I think this gives it a little bit more detail around the edges, especially where it kind of looks more like it blends in with the canvas. Let's continue over here. All right. See how that's, this pops off the canvas a little bit more on this side especially? It just looked a little too blended in for me. Alright, so I'm going to finish up the rest of it. And I'm also going to do the same to the other one here too. But before I start on that one, I'm going to be using that mustard color again. And I'm going to go around the white part of this one with the same technique, just brushing on a little bit watered down paint and then dabbing it with my wet paper towel. It just looked a little too harsh to me with the white because unfortunately I don't have colored paper on hand right now <laughs> to print on, so. Thought this would tone it down just a little bit and kind of blend in with the background. I'm just going to keep doing this around the whole thing. Yeah, I think this looks so much better, adding this little bit of detail to it. Okay. Let me get this finished over here. So I'm going to finish this up and show you how it looks. All right, so this is done, except for I've gone in with some of that mustard color with an old toothbrush, and I am just going to do some little splatters all over. It might be kind of hard to see on here. But I kind of get some of this yellow on the white too. So I'll be doing this on the other one. And I do like this one much better. So let's look at everything that I've done here. So I have four things I can put on my tiered tray, and then I have two items that I can just set somewhere else, like on a shelf here. I thought it would look cute to have this in my uh, black bookcase for now, just so you can see everything. Let me turn this around. Does it go this way or this way? Yeah, I guess it can go that way. <laughs> and we'll turn this one around. Now I can't wait to decorate my tiered tray with some lemons. Alright my friends, that's going to do it for the video today. I hope that you enjoyed it and I could give you some ideas how to revamp some of your existing decor and using scrap wood to make new decor. I want to wish everybody a very wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.